the fibular flap is a useful source of long, free, vascularized bone graft. It is supplied by the perineal artery and has a nutrient vessel which enters the fibula in its middle third. A skin paddle may also be included with the flap and the bulk of the perforators supplying this also arise in the middle third. The perforators to the skin are in the lateral intermuscular septum which lies at the posterior border of the fibula. Dissection of a skin paddle is best begun posteriorly. The skin is supplied both by musculocutaneous perforators running through soleus and by septocutaneous vessels running in the lateral intermuscular septum. The perforators running through soleus may be preserved by harvesting a cuff of the muscle. Alternatively, the flap may be purely septocutaneous. In this dissection, a cuff of soleus has been harvested. Anteriorly, the perineus longus and brevis muscles have to be dissected off the fibula. Care must be taken to preserve the periosteal blood supply. This dissection is continued until the interosseous membrane between the tibia and fibula is reached. The distal and proximal osteotomies should then be performed to allow the fibula to be rotated outwards, permitting incision of the interosseous membrane under direct vision. Once this is done, access to the vessels is much easier and the distal end of the perineal artery can be identified and divided. Dissection then proceeds proximally, taking a small cuff of tibialis posterior and flexor halicis longus to protect the vessel. Dissection should proceed up to the bifurcation of the perineal artery from the posterior tibial artery in order to give a sufficiently long vascular pedicle.